Thursday morning and I wanted to bring you guys along on a day in my life where I'm focusing on myself. Of course I have school and all that kind of fun stuff but that'd be fun because my life has been really focused on school and I just need to focus on myself, my goals, my dreams, all like that a little bit more. So I actually did a couple things early this morning when I woke up that you saw. I woke up early, woke up at 6 30 and honestly it's been really hard to wake up that early but I just told myself you have dreams and goals you want to achieve and that got me up. I've never actually tried that before and it worked, so if you have something you're really looking forward to, talk to yourself and that will get you up. But I also have started to implement more journaling, reading, meditating, eating breakfast. Eating breakfast is so important to me because I don't really eat breakfast that often, so focusing on eating breakfast has been something that's really been important to me to focus on for myself because I know if I eat breakfast, I'll have a better part of my day because I'm eating more food and that's important to me. So eating breakfast has been something that's been really on my list of things to do when I'm focusing on myself. But I'm also, you know, meditating, journaling, reading. Those are kind of like the top things I've been doing for a while now. And it's like really helped me. I feel like I'm growing as I'm reading and journaling has really helped me when it comes to letting out my feelings. So yeah, but I'm gonna show you everything that I do in a day. Where I'm focusing on myself, but I'm also taking you along my school day because it's Thursday and it's a long school day. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and let's get started. So something I want to point out is when I'm focusing on myself, um, I make it attainable. I don't make it difficult. I don't make it out of my way. I don't make it where I'm unable to achieve those things. So like. I'd always be like, hey, I'm gonna wake up at 5.30. And then I realized I cannot wake up at 5.30. So I changed it to 6.30. And honestly, it's a lot better for me. Maybe in the future I'll wake up at 5.30. But for now, I am waking up at 6.30 because that is attainable to me. Another thing is reading. Like reading books that I actually enjoy. When you read books you don't enjoy, you're never gonna wanna read. Or finding journal prompts you like. Or just finding things that you like and you want to put focus on, make it easy. Don't get too hard on yourself. There's no reason to make it difficult because then it's like, oh, I don't want to do this. 
So always make sure that anything you're trying to achieve, you make it attainable. Because when it's too big, sometimes it's just a little bit too much. Baby steps. Baby steps are very important. Also, if you can't tell, it's super foggy out. It's actually kind of nice. It's a little spooky, but nice. But yeah, always make things attainable because you don't want to disappoint yourself. And just work hard. But yeah, I'm going to GIS right now. I'm going to an earth lab to work on my GIS assignment. I have no reason to be up this early. My class doesn't start until 10, but I gotta get this assignment done because something's wrong with it. <laughs> so that's where I'm going right now. It's like eight something now. So. Something that I've been also trying to implement in my day is when I have the chance and I'm walking to classes and I'm not running late, I like to take in the present moment because we're never gonna have this moment right now that we're in. You know, like I'm walking to class and yeah, there's always gonna be other days where I'm walking to class, but it's not gonna be like this exact moment, you know? So I really like to take in the present moment, enjoy it, savor it, because it's not gonna be here again. So that's something I really have been enjoying is just taking in the present moment and reminding myself that I'm very lucky to be here. Even when things get hard, I'm very grateful and thankful that I have the chance to live in Oregon and go to school. Even when I really don't want to at times, I'm glad I am. I'm glad I'm getting the opportunity to go as a human. But yeah, taking in the present moment has just been kind of life-changing for me. So if you've never done it before, I highly suggest it because it's really nice. back at my apartment now i just had class it's two o'clock i got a coffee and a bagel with herb cream cheese and i am exhausted i'm so tired i don't really remember where i went off last but hi hi we have a dog here for a little bit <laughs> um but anyways I am supposed to be going to the gym at 3.15. Another thing that I've been really focusing on is the gym, working out. I really struggle trying to keep consistency at the gym. And now I have a gym buddy and they have really helped me get myself to the gym. I go to the gym about like three to four times a week. And I'm really trying to learn that I want to go to the gym to be happy and to, sorry, to be happy and to enjoy my life. And I don't want the sole purpose of me going to the gym is to lose weight. Because obviously that is something I want. But I also want this for my mental health. So that's just been something I've been really focusing on is the gym and working out and being consistent. Um, I think it's definitely helped me a lot mentally. So I'm really happy about that. But... Yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Mine's just been long. If I could take a nap right now, I would, but I can't because my naps take forever and I don't have the time to take a nap. Ow, he's playing with my foot. But yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I might, I don't know, I might do some stuff beforehand. Not really sure, I guess we'll see, but yeah. I think also I'm going to the rock climbing gym tonight, which will be fun. Another thing I'm trying to do to focus on myself is to do things out of my comfort zone and to do things that I like to do. Like I love rock climbing and I haven't been in a while. The main reason being money, so that's why I haven't. But it's been something that I've been really wanting to continue. And I think also just doing stuff out of your comfort zone will really help you grow as a person and just will help you be able to do more things without being scared to do it. So that's another thing I've been doing. I don't know. I just have been really trying to focus on myself this year and I think it's helped a lot, but it's only February. We have 11 more months to go. And hopefully by the end of me focusing on myself or the six months of me, I don't even know. I just hope that I'm changed. I'm a changed person. I'm hoping that I'm happier and healthier and I don't know what I'm saying right now, but I want to grow. 
I want to grow as a person. I want to grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Any way I can grow, I want to grow. But <laughs> yeah, that's that's the goal for the next six months to a year, maybe even longer. Who knows how long this may go? But I mean, you should always be trying to focus on growing and changing as a person. I don't think it's something that you just stop doing. But I'm just putting more emphasis on focusing on myself this year, so yeah. Anyways, I am going to go lay down in bed for a little bit, give myself a little relaxing time, and then I'm going to change and head to the gym. So I'll see you in a bit. Okie dokie, I'm walking to the gym right now. We're going to do back and buys. I'm excited. I love back and buys day. I'm more like the back of it, not the buys, but still going to have a good workout. I'm honestly kind of tired, so hopefully it doesn't go too bad, but... I'm currently in my bathroom. There's actually no reason for me to be in here, but I just wanted to talk. So, went to the gym, back now, and I need to make dinner. And I actually talked about this a little bit earlier when I was walking to class, I believe. Um, but I wanted to talk more about it. So, something that I've been really trying to focus on is my food intake. And I've always struggled with food. And either not eating the right food or not eating enough or eating too much, like it's just been a struggle. And something that I'm really trying to focus this year on is uh, eating the right foods, eating enough food, you know, focusing on what my body needs and not listening to my head. And if you struggle with food, I get you, I understand you, I'm in the same boat. But that's just something that I'm really focusing on right now is eating food like this morning I ate breakfast and that's actually something really big I've been working on is eating breakfast before I leave because I have a really bad habit in the morning where I just like don't eat I'll like have, maybe have a banana or eat nothing at all before classes and mind you I have like classes for like hours like Tuesdays I have class from 8 30 to 1 20 and sometimes I just don't eat before class so then I don't have food until like what like 1 45 2 o'clock <laughs> that's unhealthy and then i don't have enough food to handle my workouts because i'm not eating enough so then i'm feeling all gross and everything feels so heavy so i've been like really focusing on trying to focus on my food and just eating the right stuff so that's something big i've been focusing on for myself because i've struggled for years i originally started having eating problems probably when I was like 16 and I'm 24 now and I'm at the point where I'm kind of over it and I shouldn't live my life dictated on food so that's like something big I've been focusing on is like food but yeah so it's six something gonna make dinner and I believe me and my friend are going to rock climb at eight so i definitely need to eat something before i rock climb i feel like i'm gonna be really sore because i did back and buys today at the gym and rock climbing involves a lot of back and buys and stuff like that so it's gonna be interesting i'm excited i haven't rock climbed in a while i know i talked about this a little bit earlier but yeah so classes were good today i'm tired but honestly i'm really proud of myself for waking up at 6 30 and getting up um, I feel like I really struggle with waking up and then like going back to bed for another hour, which is not good because then I wake up even more tired. So I'm really trying to work on like waking up and staying up and actually getting out of bed. Yeah, I don't know what it is about 2022, but something about it just has made me really want to start changing the way I'm acting and the way I'm doing things. Like I want to change the way that I eat, sleep, do school, my goals. Um, my emotions, my feelings, the way I act, stuff like that. Like, I want to change things. I want to be better. And I want to show that to people and hopefully motivate people to do the same thing if they've been wanting to. And if you've been wanting to do that, that's great. Um, you can always DM me and we can talk about it and we can help each other out if you need a buddy. Because I know sometimes it's really hard when you're by yourself and you don't really have anyone who understands. So... I'm always here to understand and I'm always here if you need to talk. 
that's what I'm here for. But yeah, so I'm gonna go make some dinner. I don't really know what I'm gonna make. I was gonna make pasta, but I just ran out of pasta. So I need to figure something else out. I have turkey bacon, so I think I'm gonna make that. Actually, I don't really know. I'm kind of like incorporated meat a little bit back into my diet because I've been like really struggling with food and I want to be able to not be scared of food. So I've been kind of incorporating things back in so that eventually when I'm not scared of food and I figured my hunger stuff out and food stuff out, I'll eventually go back to what I'm used to doing. I still eat pretty plant-based, um, but I just don't want to have that fear lingering in my head. So, yeah. But I need to stop talking now. It's been like five minutes of me just randomly talking in the bathroom. And I need to eat some food because food is fuel. Food is good. So eat something good. If you haven't eaten anything today yet, go grab something. Or if you haven't eaten anything in a couple hours, go eat something. I'm gonna get there. Okay guys, it is 9.45 right now. I just made a smoothie bowl because I didn't eat enough for dinner. I only made a PB&J. Don't know why I did that, especially when I was working out twice. Not the smartest decision on my part, so definitely need to eat more. But also excuse the train. I'm sorry, I've been waiting like 10 minutes and I'm done waiting, so if you hear it, my bad but today was so long and tiring but those are just some ways that I like to focus on myself I know it can be a little bit hard sometimes with school but that's why I really wanted to show a day in my life while also focusing on myself because it just shows you ways of trying to implement things you want to do with your life when you also are busy with school. I wanna be as transparent as possible. It's been really difficult, you know, trying to put energy into myself when for years now, I've tried to push that away. I don't know what it was, but like for years, ever since I was in high school, I was like, I'm just going to avoid my issues, my problems. I just want to like zone into one thing and then like, worry about all the other things I want to do in my life and worry about fixing myself another day and now it's like I'm 24 and I still have some issues that I have from friggin high school like it's time for me to truly work on my issues and it's time for me to finally focus on the things that I love because another thing I feel like is I didn't want to be judged by people so I never did the things that I wanted to do, like content creating. I actually really like it. I really like making YouTube videos. I really like making posts on Instagram and TikTok. And for years, I never did it because I was so scared of being judged. And one thing I have to say to that is, who cares? Who cares? As morbid as this is going to sound, we're all gonna die one day. So why should we care about what other people think about us? Also, if there are people in our lives that are judging us, 
do you really think they should be in our life? No. But I know it's difficult. Said the nun. I know it's difficult to actually take the action to like get rid of those people in your life. <laughs> but sorry, I don't know what my brain is doing. It's shutting down. It's late and I'm tired and my body's like, you did too much today. But yeah, like, I don't know. This is just something that I really want to show because I'm definitely taking 2022 as the year for myself. You know, I have as one of my goals is to focus on myself for six months. And honestly, I'm thinking of just pushing it to a year or two or maybe forever. Cause I don't think it's wrong to focus on ourselves. But I like only made it six months because I like always struggle to like even do it for a day. So, but that's what I mean too about like things that I need to do to focus on myself. Like I said earlier, I think when I was walking a class, make them small, make them attainable, you know? For me, like I read a chapter or I read five pages, you know, or sometimes I'll read from here where this starts to here. And that's not even a full page, but that's okay because I still read something, right? Or journaling. You don't have to make it like pages and pages long. It can honestly just be three things I'm grateful for. And then that's it, you know, don't, don't make them big, you know, even for the gym, go in, try some stuff out. If you don't feel it, leave. And you know what? That's okay because you still win. And sometimes the biggest thing is just doing it. Like this morning, I was like, I believe I also talked about this, but I'm going to say it again. I woke up this morning at 630 and I was like, oh. I'm so tempted to fall back asleep. But then I was like, your goals and dreams are important. The only way you can achieve them is by getting up. And I was like, ah, you're right, I got up. And it's stuff like that. Like, if you really want to attain the things you want, you have to work for it. And I need to push myself out of my comfort zone and push myself to be the best that I can be. And all this kind of stuff so enough with my rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go give it a like comment subscribe if you haven't yet go drink your water because water is important also my body was like craving water when i got back from rock climbing so let's not get to that point guys drink your water but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video Oh, 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 oh,